how much I actually read in a week as a busy high school student pursuing film, as an extracurricular, someone who is somewhat active at the gym. I can say it has a social life and is trying to get her volunteer hours in. Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel. As I said, I'm trying to be more consistent and a little bit less MIA here on my booktube channel. So here I am. Hopefully within like a month of the last video I just posted. I actually just posted um, a massive reading update of the past few months. So I will link that below if you haven't seen it already. I'm going to be taking you guys along in my week and doing a realistically what I read in a week video as a high school student and we're going to see how much reading, which is my number one hobby, I get done on top of um, being a busy person. Today is currently Sunday. It's currently 3.30pm on a Sunday. I haven't picked up a book today yet but I have a lot of awesome books I've actually bought that I'm so excited to read this week, so that's definitely gonna help. I'm just about to go on a drive with my dad and sister. We like, we go on drives and then we go, we like drive to new hiking and walking locations and I always read on these. So I have, I'm gonna bring my Kindle because I'm trying to stay on top of my reading goal and I'm currently reading um, I'm currently finishing a book called The Right Move. I'm 81% through it, so I really want to finish it. I don't, I don't love it. I downloaded a bunch of books on my Kindle, actually. So I, I also am reading So de Moi, which is, um, I just started. I'm only 3%, but So de Moi is Save Me in French. I'm reading it in French. Save Me is a, a German book that's been translated into French. Um, if you've watched Maxton Hall, which is my number one obsession, my favorite TV show ever created, um, it just got released earlier this month, Maxton Hall on Prime Video. Um, it's, it's so good, and it's based off of the book series called Save Me. This book has like very high potential, and I just started it, and I already love Ruby so much more in the book than I did in the series, and I loved her in the series, so that's impressive. And I love the writing, and it's actually fairly easy to understand. Like I'm, I'm fluent in French. My French, my comprehension in French is normally pretty good, but I'm actually understanding it quite well, so I'm very happy about that. Um, I, I can't really tell that I'm reading it in French. It's very similar to like reading it in English, if that makes sense. Most of the vocabulary is fairly simple. And then I'm also going to bring the rule book on the drive. I'm like bringing a million books. I'm not going to get to these. But um, the rule book by Sarah Adams, which I'm so excited to read. And then there's also the Dixon rule by L. Kennedy that I've downloaded on my Kindle. And I really want to get to that. And I bought myself Powerless. Um, by Lauren Roberts and I'm so excited to get to this so I'm bringing like a pen and tabs because oh and I got the hardcover for $20 at Indigo which is just amazing anyways thank you for clicking on this video and I'm so excited to spend the next few minutes with you as much as I just want to read for the rest of all eternity I unfortunately cannot do that, um, but yeah, I just finished The Right Move. Um, it was really good. I personally, I feel like I it has the potential to be amazing, and I completely understand why everyone and their mother is obsessed with it, but it wasn't my obsession book. Like, But I did rate it four stars because it was a pretty amazing book. I just felt like it never clicked with me. I was never like dying to know what happened was never like so invested ever through xander's oh they're ryan shay and that's a, that's a really unpopular opinion but i don't know if it's just because he plays hockey but also i i just i'm i like his character better i'm sorry if that personally offends you but yeah i i do have some work to do i have some volunteer work i have to do on my computer that i signed up for i also have to study for my math test that I'm taking tomorrow. It's probably going to be like a two hour math test. I'm not looking forward to it because I would much rather spend that time reading. I don't want to be a functioning young adult. Like I don't want to at all, ever. 
I would be happily content doing booktube like for my entire life. But guys, days like today, all I want to do is read books. I don't want to be a functioning young adult trying to get into med school and trying to be impressive at all. So yeah, but I have I signed up through these things. I have to do them anyways. So uh, yeah. Anyways, I turn I put my candles on. I have some water. I'm like bribing myself very heavily to get work done. I reward myself. So if I get that I study through my math test and finish editing the video, you know what I will reward myself with? The seven year slip because I'm actually reading this with my romance book club this month. We can do it. We can do it. We can rally guys. We can be impressive academically overachieving teenagers together. <sighs> I have finished my volunteer work. All I want to do is read. I really want to read Powerless. I've been really in the mood for a fantasy lately, which never happens to me. Anyways, I'm going to fold this laundry and probably give you guys a million more updates as I procrastinate some more. I did it. Math notes done. Good morning. Hi, um, it's currently 6.14 a.m. I woke up 45 minutes ago, and I'm just about to read my A Bit of the Seven Year Slip for today. Um, I made my breakfast. It's boring and not aesthetic today. Um, and I'm in my gym clothes because I'm going to go to the gym in hopefully the next 45 minutes. It's a new week. I actually don't feel too bad about the week. Um... I have a lot to do, but I'm feeling positive. I'm getting into the storyline. I read like, I only read four pages last night before I completely fell asleep. Um, so I'm going to eat my breakfast, watch some YouTube, drink my coffee. Guys, from the moment I started reading, I have been in love with Elon. Like, like the first page he's introduced, I've been in love with this man. Ashley Poston's writing really reminds me of Emily Henry's writing in a really good way. currently reading the summer of broken rules on audiobook so i'm gonna turn that audiobook on and i fill up my water bottle and leave for the gym but oh my goodness guys how am i gonna do anything except just read this book i can already tell this book has five star potential and i'm only 25 pages in i love it i love it um, and I kind of just want to keep reading that. I'm not loving Summer of Broken Rolls, so, yeah, I'm kind of finding it a bit boring, but, you know what, it's something to listen to while it runs, so. Look at me do my mountain climbers super duper fast. Also, I'm aware I'm sweating a lot. Um, I'm just someone who sweats a lot at the gym, and I'm never holding back at the gym. I'm really giving it my all. So let's normalize girls sweating, shall we? We actually need more girls sweating in books. Like, we need some representation. And here's how the other day I was going a little bit rich kid, chic, a little preppy. Hi. ASMR. I got a chunk of my audiobook done at the gym. I believe I was at 63% of the way through the audiobook when I last talked to you guys, and now I'm 87%, so I don't know how many pages that is. I know a lot of people don't consider audiobooks as reading, but I am part of the community that does, so I will be counting pages read through audiobooks too, because I am an overachieving student, and if I don't count audiobooks, like, what am I, I, like, I won't have time to read. Someone's staring. Okay, um, look at these adorable line lights I got. Aren't they cute? They light up. And then I ended up pulling out my book at school, which I rarely do anymore because I've been so disciplined lately. And I listened to my audiobook while I was headed to the library. I never want to leave my bed again. I'm so tired. I haven't woke up at 5 30 for a very long time so I'm really feeling it right now my plans for the rest of the night I hope to tackle some more math I have school to do I I do have to get to some of my school but you know what the seven year slip 
is calling my name and my legs hurt so bad and I'm just so tired. I'm, I might read through an hour or two. Yeah, I might read through three hours, who knows. Tuesday, I was not feeling my best. I ended up starting my day around 8 p.m. I didn't get out of bed until then. This is fairly normal for me as someone who lives with chronic pain. I do have days like this. I decided to start a new audiobook, so I want to finish the Summer of Love and Rolls because I'm liking it a little bit more right now. But I started a new audiobook called The Singles Table that I'm really excited to read. So I'm going to get on that right now. I'm really into audiobooks right now because if I'm too tired to physically read and I have a migraine like I do now or I have a headache right now so if I have a headache which happens a lot I'll just listen to an audiobook good morning my hair is crazy frizzy today so ignore that please I had a terrible migraine yesterday so I really didn't film much but I did end up finishing the summer of broken rules last night um, on audiobook. I liked it a decent amount. Um, it was kind of hard to get invested in and get into and I wasn't like super rooting for the romance or anything which is kind of the bare minimum in a romance book for me. I've been having a lot of books where I'm like I can see why people love them but I wasn't like in love with everything about it and I'm hoping I get a five star soon and I'm kind of feeling like the seven year slip has five star potential. I'm in my workout clothes right now. I had breakfast. This plate looks ginormous. It kind of is, but I'm feeling a bit better today. I also started the singles table yesterday. It's by Sarah Desai. Um, I might be saying her name wrong, but Desi takes place at Indian weddings and with a big Indian family. It's, re it's really cute. Um, I can tell already it's not going to be a five star or anything for me, but I don't know. It, it's, it's fun. I, I am enjoying it. I don't even know if it'll be a Thor star, but 58% of the way through that one, and I read it all yesterday. It's kind of the longer audiobook. It's 11 hours. I'm going to eat my breakfast, and then... I'm going to read this seven year slip again and then I'm going to go to the gym. I feel like I look a little scary. I apologize for that. The people at the gym will have to see me like this too. It's so dark outside. It just started raining. I think it's raining. I don't want to do anything. I don't understand why the singles table is 11 hours. Like, I don't see how we can stretch stretch this out anymore. Uh, I need more coffee when I get home. I ended up having to walk to the gym in the rain, which absolutely <gasps> sucked. I wanted to do absolutely nothing this day. I don't know. It's because it was gloomy and rainy outside. So, I just came back from the gym. And... I don't think I'm actually going to have time to read. Maybe while I drink some coffee. We will see. I got to 71% of the singles tables. I'm getting the feeling that it's going to be another subpar book, guys. I've been reading a lot, a lot of subpar books lately. I'm doing two things at once. I'm packing my bag. Ignore that. I just showered. I'm so tired right now, though, and I kind of do need to recharge, so... I think I'm going to drink some water and read the seven year slip. Side note, I also just realized I have uh, an advanced reader copy, an ARC for I Am Not Alone. It's not an ARC anymore. It came out last year. came out a year ago. Anyways, I got it at a book club I go to and I had that book club meeting on I think like seven days from now. So, like, these are two mandatory reads. These are not, like, this one, I can already tell I love it so much. It's reminding me of To All the Boys I Loved Before, which is one of my all-time favorite books. Um, I'm reading this one. Yeah, just To All the Boys I've Loved Before, but make it adult. I love it. This one is their book club, but it's also a joy to read, and I absolutely love it. Um, this one I'm not super motivated to read. They didn't have a lot of book options. Um last time I was 
um, at Read and Review Book Club, but this, it's, it's a book, and it's not very long, and the font is huge, so it's, like, it's a really huge font, so I think I should be able to get through it over the next week, so these are, like, my two priority books for this week, and then I listen to my audiobook. This is my favorite mug because I am quite the chemistry nerd, if you know me. I am loving the seven-year flip. I love the premise. In case you don't know, it's about an apartment that either travels seven years into the past or the future. It's such a cool premise because it's not a fantasy novel. They never really go into why. It's just like, yeah, the apartment time travels. Good morning, guys. My hair is a little wild today once again. Um, I woke up at 8 a.m. this morning and it's currently 10.15. I had a really bad migraine when I woke up, so I took an hour to just like lay in bed and um, catch up on some YouTube. I took an hour and a half to edit my video, um, this video, because I want to put it up next week and I, I made the thumbnail and everything. I'm really happy with how the thumbnail turned out. So yeah, I'm gonna edit my video 30 more minutes and then I'm heading to the gym. We have upper body today. So that's that is what we will be doing. I feel like I look like a farm boy with my hair like this. <laughs> Last night, where is it? Okay. Last night I got to page 60 of the sudden year slip because I was really exhausted and just ended up going to sleep. I read 35 pages, so that's pretty good, especially for how long of yesterday a day it was. Because I am a film student, I absolutely love editing and will completely geek out over editing. Also, on a completely different note, I wonder what people think of me at the gym. I wonder if other people think about other people at the gym like I do. I don't know. I really hope they're not thinking, oh my goodness, why is that girl breathing so hard and sweating so much? My non-existent abs hurt so bad. Upper body day destroyed me a little bit. Ignore my iron. I've got a protein heavy-ish. There's peanut butter. That counts. I've got lunch. I'm about to eat this, watch Destiny Sidwell, and then I'm going to pick up a few pages of the seven-year slip. Um update on my audiobook or I listened to 10% um this book is downright sucking I don't like it I I was liking the setting at first but I don't like anything about it anymore guys I, I kind of want to DNF it I rarely DNF things but I do want to DNF this book literally and I might be rating it like two 2.5 stars who knows I like the setting it's it's funny I feel like it has that going for it um, but yeah, I'm not liking it. And I only had 16% left though. So I'm probably will finish it just for the sake of my Goodreads reading goal. Also, look at this adorable dress. I'm so excited to wear this to school today. I have matching sandals and I'm, I'm going to be the talk of the high school guys. I feel so high school every time. I look at you, look at you. You definitely needed that to be serenaded, right? I'm feeling so poorly today. Okay, Tuesday and today I've been feeling really poorly. But I think I need to take it easy tonight because I really don't feel well. And I had so much work to do. But maybe I'll take it easy and then maybe I'll start to feel better hopefully, and then I can do some of the work. There's a chance I'll feel better in it, two or three hours. I'm 87% through the singles table, and this book is dragging on. I went on a walk, and I was like, oh, I'm gonna listen to it, but I really didn't want to, and there was a new episode of Bookmarked, my favorite podcast, so I listened to that instead and listened to like 3% of the singles table for the last five minutes of my walk. I have some coffee, some carrot sticks, and that's girl dinner right now guys here's some footage of me reading in the sun in the car and yes i can read in the car and oops i completely dropped my thumb but you know what it's like it is currently 7 35 i am just about to eat breakfast i normally hit the gym in the morning but today i'm planning to hit it in the afternoon it's so pretty today it's actually so sunny outside 
I did an adorable cottagecore picnic style lunch on Friday. It was absolutely amazing. I just sat under a tree and read a few pages. I had the best time. I just got a lead for a movie I've been trying to cast for the past month and a half. So I am so happy right now. I'm so happy. Um, I'm just about to get my gym clothes and go to the gym. I might listen to music. I might listen to an audiobook. I don't know. I don't like my audiobook right now. <laughs> I have so much work to do tonight. I don't think I will be reading much at all tonight. But tomorrow, tomorrow will be a reading day. Tomorrow was not, in fact, a reading day. My life is nothing without routine, so I'm at the gym again. <laughs> Hi, friends. It is currently 10.26 p.m. on Saturday. So I'm coming, I'm coming to you a little bit late in the day. I have some Earl Grey tea. And then I have book club on Thursday. So I really need to finish this book. I'm wondering if I can like streamline it. The font is so big. I started this um, when I was reading outside on the field. And it's not immediately grabbing my attention. But also I'm only like four pages in. All I want to do is read the seven year slip. This is just me the entire blog talking about just nonstop wanting to read the seven year slip. <laughs> I was going to update you yesterday, last night at the gym, I finished The Singles Table, and that book just kept getting worse and worse. I ended up rating it 1.5 stars, maybe a 3.5 is kind of the vibe I was getting through the first half of the book, and I read a lot of romance, so like a 3.5 star romance, I, I finish those, you know, normally, and then near the end, or as I was getting through the book, I was like, actually, okay, maybe a 3 star, and I was like... 2.5 and then I was like I might DNF this book and but I was already so close to being done and I finished it um and then I started if he had been with me on audiobook I've read 2% like I barely started it I'm just on chapter 2 but um I really like the narrator for the audiobook which is a really good sign I rarely like um audiobook narrators so it's a really good sign that I like her and I'm immediately intrigued I I know I was like, oh, I'm not immediately intrigued with this book because, like, I read the same amount of If He Had Been With Me and that book, I want to know more. This one, I'm like, yeah, I'm good. I'm going to pick up one of these and chances are next time I see you guys, it will be tomorrow. It will be Sunday and we will have done this video for an entire week. You will have seen how much I actually read in a week. I lost my airpods here. I am constantly losing things in my bed and I couldn't find them anywhere. Anyways, they were on my bookshelf the entire time. I was so tired here. I was really hitting my wall. I had been going since like 8 a.m. that morning, so I was feeling exhausted. Proof of exhaustion is just me lying here staring at the camera for a few seconds, so. But I powered through and read a whole four pages, so. I hope you're proud. <laughs> Hello, lovely people. You have officially made it to the end of this video. And I know it's a bit of a long one because I've been editing it. And I talk a lot. <laughs> and now we're going to do a little wrap up for what I actually read this week. Like we got the statistics, everything everyone is here for. I would like to give a little disclaimer beforehand. I don't read this much every week. Some weeks I read less. Some weeks I read more. This is just kind of, I would say this is quite an average week for me. So yeah, I have weeks where all I do is read. And in those weeks I finish three or four books. But I also have weeks where I don't read at all. On Sunday, I read 107 pages. On Monday, I read 112. On Tuesday, I read 245 pages. And then on Wednesday, I read 84 pages. And then Thursday, 43 pages. And Friday, 
46 pages. And then Saturday, I, which was yesterday, I only read five pages. That was my busiest day. That brings us to a total of 632 pages read, if my calculations are correct. And in this vlog, I finished three books. So I finished The Right Move. And then I read The Summer of the Broken Rules. And then I read The Singles Table. As for my Goodreads goal, I'm currently two books ahead of schedule. And I'm hoping to make it three today. Thank you so much for sticking around for this video. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like. You know, subscribe. Do all that awesome YouTube stuff you probably know how to do. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.